Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to work with themes. Calypso themes are an easy way for you to stylish your application. In the main window, choose the Themes tab. As you can see, there's at least one style per object in each theme. If you want to apply the form style, just drag and drop it holding the control key, drop, and let's select Apply to all forms. Press Apply. Now all the forms have the same style, but they didn't got the length to the style. They just copy the settings, so if you change the theme itself, nothing will change in the forms. You will need to reapply it. You can even apply styles for several controls at the same time. I'm going to select some of them, for instance, the label, the input, and I'm holding the control key for that, the table, and even the combo. So they are all selected. I'm going to drag holding the control key, and you can see Clips is going to apply all these settings. I say apply to all forms, apply. A special behavior is reserved for the buttons. Buttons cannot hold the images, but an image can behave like a button. Our project is set to use buttons, but we are now going to convert them to images. In the theme, you can see that we have two styles for image controls and one for button. I'm going to drag the button large style holding the control and notice the option to convert buttons to images. I'm going to check it, say apply to all forms and apply. Now our buttons are images and they have a button effect using two images. We can double click to check that out. Notice button effect second image and under link it has two images, one for the normal state and another for the pressed state. Notice that when you apply the style, those settings are displayed. Button effect, second image, and the file name and the second image. When applying, you can also override the definitions that come from the style itself. For instance, I want to apply this style, but with a border, around all the buttons. Apply to all forms, apply. Now you can see it has a border. Let's try it in the mobile device. Let me pull the screen up. No license. But as you can see, the style has changed. It should close in a few minutes uh, or a few seconds. We have the closing with the not connected message. And there you go. One thing that are not stylish automatically with this are the keyboards. For the keyboard, you can go to your project properties, keyboard tab, and customize the keyboard for whatever style you want. You can customize the background of the window, you can customize the input boxes, and even the buttons. Notice that it can also be an image, so if you want, you can set it up as an image, button effect second image, normal image, select the image that is being used by your own buttons, and then the second image also used by your own buttons. This way, your keyboard will look like your application. Let's try it in the mobile device to see how it looks. We need to be fast because we have a 10 second window to do that. So, no license. And if I double click here, you can see the keyboard with the buttons looking like our application, I could even stylish the background window. Going back to our application, we can also create Calypso themes. 
Calypso themes are easy to create because you can add any style found in your project to an existing theme. Start by creating the theme itself. Go to Tools, Themes, Add. I'm going to call it Tutorial. Save and close. Now let us say that we want um, a plain color background in the forms. We don't want this um, gradient image. Let's double click. Let's remove it with the backspace and switch the color to blue. Okay. And save. As you can see now it would be a little bit hard to do this for all the forms. But we can right click, add to theme tutorial. Now it's possible to select the tutorial theme here and do the same behavior as before. Drag and drop, apply to all forms, therefore applying this new background. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about themes.